Hi everybody, I'm Sandy. And I'm Debbie. We're, We're from, from the Normal Paranormal Group. And today is Five Things Wednesday. And today we're talking about topas. Yes. Have you ever heard of a topa? A topa is a concept in theosophy and mysticism in the paranormal of a materialized thought form. That's right, it's a thought yeah, form. Earth thought form entities. Typically in a human form, such as an imaginary friend that's created through spiritual practice and intense concentration. So we're gonna say one, like some something you create to protect yourself. A lot of times you might have a situation in life that you wanna feel like someone's watching over you. Well something that you can't control right physically and so you have no one to turn to right. so you create your own entity that's there to watch over you and protect you right you you also create what you may consider a poker guys teenagers and women um, uh, menopausal women their hormones go crazy hormonal it, changes right and which affects the aura, the aura that we all have energy and so we start disrupting and changing this energy around us so we create things that become mischievous actually like you like poker guys yeah poker yes. guys most of them are created from teenagers and menopausal women believe it or not right and then we have an imaginary friend that you could talk to you might think well so, it doesn't have to be a human friend. That's right. It could be right. pets. Pets. You have an imaginary pet. You wonder how come some of those dolls come alive? That's right. Mm -hmm. It's an imaginary thing that you actually create. You actually create yeah. energy into this object. Yes. That's right. So when we, when we say about creating good or bad, all depends on the situation. That's why if you go to some of these places, and they tell a story over and over and over again. So you go to these places that people talk about. It's generational. Um, right. Uh, you put all your energy in there, hoping the that oh, you're going to add you're ready. Like, oh, something's going to pop out. I'm going to see something. Is it the stick man? Is it the elemental, the match man? Is it the, the shadow man? Is it, I'm going to see this. I'm going to see this. And so, but they keep on going to the same spot. When you go to the same spot to investigate, and more people go to the same spot and investigate, you're actually giving it more energy. You're actually creating a topa. Right. So a lot of these things that people say, oh, there's witches that live there, and they they got gremlins there, and so they tell the story because out of fun or out of their own imagination, so then the next person will go there and it's almost like mass hysteria where you start having the mass public uh start thinking the same way so they'll go to that same forest spot and then you have people who, who do black magic and they'll go there purposely and conjure up black magic and eventually these topas become real That's so you actually yeah. help create something that might be evil mm. or it might be good you don't know what you're creating at that moment or so think about it yes i believe there are spirits there's ghosts there's everything out there but there's certain things i think we actually pour Great. our energies yes. in in visiting a same haunted place because it's People say, this is haunted, this is haunted, this room's haunted, that room's haunted. And so people go to there. Oh, just like the hotel room we went to. Yep. We, it was haunted. And uh, what do you do? You open the door and you get teenagers in the hotel outside that room because they cannot get into the room. Right. And they have a Ouija board. And they start conjuring up stuff in the hall. They think by it's the a door. game. And, and, and when reality, it's, it's not, a game. not a game, they're actually pouring energy into it 
to a point where they actually believe they hear something. They start screaming and they act like they're possessed because yes. they really believe in their minds. It just, yeah, just it's like, real. Yeah, just like that one room, 217 at this one hotel. It was supposed to be extremely haunted and we couldn't get in, but we seen people go in there and the women were laughing and giddy like teenagers. They were older. They only had been in their 30s or whatever, but they were acting like they were 14, 15 years old. And God knows what they were filming in there and doing in there. And so they leave that energy behind. And then you have the next person come in with their group and their group starts doing other type of things with the supernatural. And eventually that room does become haunted, but not for the reason why it was supposed to be. They actually are inviting in darker energies. That's right. So even when people say about certain things, that's why you go to certain cemeteries. And, and that we had a cemetery near us where people used to go practice um, witchcraft or uh, and they rituals, rituals, and, and they beheaded some geese in there, and oh yeah, yeah. And I remember that story, and I went, and these people, like, what is wrong with these people? Yep. Because they believed in this witchcraft. Well, they said the police were called in this one uh, ghost site we went to. Yeah, and yeah, they cut off the the Canadian geese their right. heads, and they put them on poles, and they chased a man who actually leaped over this six foot fence and the police were stunned and this one woman seen him in her yard and she she locked her doors and she said he was pale white and he didn't look real and yeah. he scared the bejesus out of her so some of these people they really believe in this stuff wholeheartedly so they become yeah. this it, it was it a human or was it right. inhuman? It become this demonic thing. Yes. So yeah, so watch what you do and practice and be safe out there and always carry protection with you when you are yes. going to these places. Debbie and I are a firm believer in prayer and that we say our uh, Archangel Michael prayer yes, we to do. protect us. We also carry on your nails our crucifix. We carry yes. holy water with us. We carry our stones with us. Yep. We See, always we care, carry little, protection. Now, when they say iron nails, it's not any nail. That's right. It has to be wrought iron nails. Wrought iron. Real steel. And then... Oops, what did I drop to that? We could see any... Oh, it's by your foot. And right here is a turlamine tur stone. And this chases away evil and protects you against curses and that and evil spirits. This one is an avatrine stone. This protects you. This protects you from energy vampires. Energy vampires could be either human or they could be ghost. And they suck your energy and that's why you feel drained and they could enter you. So remember, when you have teenagers or people with mental issues, they believe in these imaginary friends and they become real. Mm -hmm. They actually created their own topas. Yes. Uh, I hope you have a better understanding what a topa is. Yes, there's ghosts, there's spirits, there's everything out there. But we just wanted to explain topas. And with this, I am Sandy. And I am Debbie. Until the next five things. Bye. Have a great day.